Maybe not that, so much so that oh, the Marana's got a lot of burst damage and the Storm is the same story. Yeah, they just want a hero that's going to make... At the same time, this Oracle knowing... They want an initiation that's big enough... I can't imagine they would go for, like, Tide or something, but even Tide's in the pool. There's so many offlaners that made it through. And they're going right. to just oh. run run it back. <laughs> they're just going to take it back. I mean, why not, right? You do see that you have... You see Mars picked up. It's still one of the better heroes that versus the Mars. We saw it a lot last game, and uh, Creep has a hard time running away from Jaquiel. So it's... Uh, or Troll has a hard time. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Creep has a hard time yeah. running away from it. And it's uh, it just feels like it's an unknown draft already. I'm ready to be uh, proved otherwise, though. There's always some crazy thing that can happen in, in the middle of the game. But uh, it just here. you're looking at an unknown's draft, and you're looking at Dog Champ's draft, and you're like, well, I mean, one's got a Wraith King, and Wraith King is the meta. And, I mean, previously, this is the hero that they were looking for, and this is the hero that they would have had if they did decide to pick a different mid laner, but... It's just a Timbersaw in front of a DP. Robo Z has that frontliner now that isn't even Burna Burna. Now they've just got these two walls whenever this mid game does finally go down. And I feel like Dogchamp are going to need so much net worth on both of their cores before they're really going to be able to take a convincing fight. And again, it's going to be up to Luki. It's going to be up to these rotations as he's, again, the sole initiation. It's really dependent on him to make a lot of these plays along with Ray. If him and Ray aren't able to make this map hard for unknown to exist in, then I think Burna Burna, we've seen it time and time again. He's carried his team to victory, and we're going to see that here. And I'm going back to it, it's like, Dog Champ are playing on a timer as well. Like Troll needs to kind of get online a little bit earlier, and Storm Spirit needs to get that, uh, get the silence as soon as possible. But I mean, if Wraith King gets a Radiance by the time both of them have the item, then they're then they're on track. But if Wraith King has the Radiance and one or two of those heroes don't have the one of the two items that they need to kind of like steamroll, it's going to be the Radiance farming technique, and it's they're just gonna keep doing it. And yet again, I just think that yeah, they just need so much. And they do have the small spikes. That is why this Ray Storm, that's why you pick Storm Spirit. That's why you pick Troll Warlord, where you have that Javelin level 6 little power spike. You've got the Orchid Spike, where we always see the smoke up afterwards. And I just, they need to accentu accentuate how powerful those spikes are. They need to get a lot done in those timings. And if they aren't able, then I'm, I'm all team unknown right now. I was uh I was looking at you know my favorite thing is cosmetics. I went to go check out the Wraith King. This is like one of my favorite Wraith King sets. It actually looks better without the particle effects. Yeah. He, he just looks like a, a World of Warcraft or uh he actually looks <laughs> like a, a a Vermintide character with the the spikes the spike skulls. Yeah, we did have that Vermintide set that was out there for a little while, I believe. Uh, really weird sets that came out of there, but there was a really good Doom set that was in there that I've got like. I think two uh, the, of. Yeah, the the Warhammer 40k series is uh, very powerful, especially that the secondary series, the the Kunkka set, still one of the best Kunkka sets. Oh yeah, I've got that set. It's really nice. I've got every okay. set that's not the Dota Plus shards, more or less, except for like the uh, the ones that came from this event. No, I see. Dire I see. Tide. Yeah, the Dire Tide ones were hard. I had a sniper yeah. one, I sold it, and I bought a Slark and uh uh what's the other one? Snapfire. Snapfire? Nice. Yeah, I don't need a sniper set, dude. I like the Viking sniper. Oh, same, same. But now I'm I mean they're gonna go top with three heroes at the same time. Unknown are just gonna run at you. I don't think they're gonna do any lane shenanigans as they should be very happy if lanes do go the normal way. If anything, I, I think they want Drakeel versus the Troll. There just isn't a mu very much that Troll can do versus Timber up until he does get that Javelin. If uh, He doesn't have it queued up yet, but I'm assuming the Maelstrom is just going to be the, the very common build that we see nowadays. But again, we've got Widge on his signature hero. He did so well as Lion last game. Uh, I really hope he's going to be able to cause chaos on the map again. As Again, he sort of is the, the instigator, just like in the previous game where... Wiz was able to put the team sort of on his back while Drakeel was running around creating opportunities and Prada not being on Undying is also kind of nice to see. Getting him uh, to spread his uh, legs a little bit as we usually see him on uh, some pretty boring heroes. It's usually a lion or an enchantress, but this is a it's a nice change of pace.
That is a weird voice line for Timbersoft. The battle begins. Oh, Berna? Just lining up Where? his branches. Oh. Just like, what are you talking about? He just dropped him on the ground in the line in front of him. He's just uh, <laughs> killing time. I mean, nothing was really happening there, but... Uh... And they're going to try him. Unless uh, B9 TP's bottom. They might be trying to do the first blood pick then, and then roll from there. Because they do see, at least for now, that it is just Burna Burna with this ward. Okay, well, no. Now they see Prada here, so... They do see that it is at least a 2-3, to three, but B9 is hanging out in the sidelines, and this usually signifies that uh, that wanting to get oh, first we blood go. order here. Looking for the full oh, root. Prada's Prada needs to it. soak it. Yep, yep, there it is. Perfect. That's how that's going to yeah. happen there, and yeah, B9 just starts the TP out. And not bad, forcing the salve out of Burna Burna already, but you're already forcing his wave in into the tower, and... I mean, this is going to be a little bit annoying again for Luki Luki, but that's not the goal of this lane. The goal is for Burn to get as much last hits as possible and get enough levels where it's going to be very hard. And, oh, perfect block from Prada. So this range creep isn't just always conceded, and we'll see if they're going to be able to get the denies. It's working on it. Yep, gets the stun. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Excellent usage of that as well. They're able to make these trades for the, uh, the overall on that pretty effectively here, and Yara not able to get the block. Or with the uh, the pole there, I mean. Yeah, Prada, Burna, they, they play so well together, and it, it's very nice to see such a synergy in the safe lane for both these players. Uh, Prada unable to get that one that time, but uh, actually wasn't in range, Luki, to get the XP for that one. But still, it, weeding the CS, it, it's Wraith King. Burna hasn't really missed, oh, yeah, and no. getting any denies in this kind of situation, <laughs> yeah, just pumping it. Yeah, I mean, you can see he's already bought the glove. He's very confident in knowing that this hand of Midas is going to happen. And just Prada playing out of his mind, getting these blocks and pulls. I mean, Berna is going to be able to carry two of these creeps in, which will pull the rest. And only one melee is going to be denied here. But Berna's not really concerned about that one. Luki tears into them as much as possible. Luki does need to be careful, too. This is the burst I was talking about, that uh, there's not much both the troll and this opposing offlane Mars is really going to be able to do against the... Early burst damage that could come from Rimstroke. Like, just Stroke of Fate alone does a huge chunk of damage. And if they find the Inkswell combo with the follow up stun from Burna, then he just dies. And every single time they force Luki Luki to use his mana for these CS, it's, it's, a, it's a small win, but it, it adds up after a while. And it's just uh, as well as soon as they get level two, level or rather level three, level four on the side of unknown, their heroes can be so much more aggressive onto Luki. He just needs that crit. They need that level two in the ink swell, and then then it will get scary. Going to our alternate lanes here, we can go take the quick gander at the Storm Spirit. Realisa having a 50-50 uh, even time at the moment. Robo Z. not having the worst time himself. He's got the full null talisman before Realisa has his coming in. But it's uh it's about the same here. It's fifteen three to fourteen two. Yes, and yet again, it's it's again, it's just gonna pull back to the runes. It looks like he was able to get the slight edge on Robo Z where he does have that completed null and the bottle coming out where Ray is spending a little bit more mana or rather a little bit more moolah on regen and Ray's getting aggressive though, but yeah, it's just the heal. It's a very slow one though, but it still will heal them over. Bottom. But looks like or bottom top. will actually or top. Sorry, right, we'll get the first blood there. It's on Burna Burna too, actually. And you don't want to be throwing those out like that. That's a that's your Wraith King there. That's gold. And it looks like it was just the creep wave still under control, and Yarn's able to make a perfect rotation towards the rune as well. And does he get it? Oh, perfect! Finally, Ray's got a rune in a in a reasonable fashion. He's got a rune in a Dota 2 game that's not the bounty. He's very excited it's, about it, that. Very excited, but it, it's just Yarn. Even though he's not been able to get a lot of these pulls off successfully, the creep wave, as you can see, is just pulled back. And it's sort of the power of this Mirana, where it's very difficult for Prada to ever make a pull f of, uh, for himself. And they're having to constantly use the stroke of fate to win these trades in the lane, where Prada just isn't able to get some of these key pulls off because Yarn's just so annoying. Yeah, both uh, in, in multiple senses, because, God, that taunt is so loud. Well, let's jump down to bottom real quick. We do see a little bit of a uh, quarrel going on here, but the uh, 
The bot lane is probably the lowest impact lane overall. Drakeel not really uh, able to make good fights against creep very early. More or less just able to withstand attacks that come out from them. If anything, the real uh, catalyst in this game is going to be, we'll probably just walk past an arrow, but whether or not Widge is going to be able to go do stuff to the Storm Spirit, make it very hard. You see Widge is probably getting up a deep ward or could just be walking around. He doesn't want to get too far away from Drakeel because they do have a lot of magic burst, and if he does get ensnared, rooted up a little bit too much, he will be going down. But Widge, if anything, just looking for couriers. He's just trying to, to get levels, and he will find one. Yep, it's a good one as well. This one's not going to be able to have any flight potential here, while the second one... Uh, Widge not really in oh, range Drakeel. of that one, no. And, I mean, this puts Drakeel in a very scary spot. He rolls in, but B9 able to find the burst damage out from Purifying Flames. They will get this kill, and... That's like you were talking about. He doesn't want to go too far, but he just overextended trying to go for that second courier and Wiz just unable to uh, to get in there. And the, the big deal there was that Creep, with his item build, he rushed for that javelin, and that's the little power spike I was talking about. Usually they don't have it this soon, but it looks like he was just able to Top. rush it just maybe one or two items ahead. Do see Luki, oh, though. He's in a bit of trouble. Yeah, he's, he's just done there. Prada able to deal the burst damage with the stun, but back in the mid, the arrow... Out on the Robo Z. And that's the issue. They need to be so careful. And yet again, a DD rune. Now we're seeing Ray. Ray is coming back and in, in, in form this time around. I mean, it's going back to what we've said practically all throughout today and all throughout consistent days and, you know, just probably from millions of other casters. The mid rune literally dominates and dictates how your lane is going to go as a mid player. If you don't get it, then you don't win mid. As well as just Ray with the experience, with the knowledge. B9. One, easily his best hero. B9 was in trouble. Yeah. Actually, it's going to go on Wish instead. And Creep, now level oh, 6, no. hitting that. Looking for the lucky root. Unable to get it, though. He does have the ranged whirling available if they want to swap over to it. But Jaquiel, that's the only problem with uh, trying to fight up against this Timber Sai. He's got the, uh, the stacks to work with. Oh, Prada? They're diving this tower. They do actually find Prada here. And uh, they will TP Wiz in here, but I don't think Wiz is going to be able to really help out here. Luki is going to be targeted with this, but Burna not yet level 6. He's not really going to be able to help out here. And now it's a, quite a different game in comparison to game number 1. This is where we're seeing Unknown being ahead with the 5-kill lead. And now we see uh, Doc Champ with a 4-kill lead at the 8-minute uh, mark. And it's so important that this is happening. They need to get the space, and it's just so important for their team where... If they're not able to get a lot of the lanes, it, it just it's history at this point where if they lose their lanes, it just seems like the game is so much harder for them, either mentally or just straight up with the numbers. A little bit of lack of communication there. Burna Burna was uh, maybe kind of poising to run at uh, Luki there, but doesn't want to risk it too hard. He's not that far behind. Well, I say that though, he is actually five or 400 in comparison to the troll who is uh, having a much more free lane than I was anticipating. I thought the uh, Timber Sodger kill would be able to put in some good effort to him, but it seems like it's going to be a, sort of an even race here. I spe and speaking of that, Drakeel is going to be in trouble here. Creep looking for a root, but unable to find it. Oh, and... Nice. Up in the top lane with the arena, I'm guessing. Yeah, they were able to just, he was just able to walk it out. I think he just got silenced and the spear was just a little bit too late that he didn't even consider using it once the arrow had whiffed. Well, they don't know that Robo Z is up here in Viz. There is no ward to scout it. And uh, Robo Z will do exactly that. They'll roll in, they'll drop the Moonlight Shadow, oh, they nice. push him back and they will still get it. And now with this uh, exorcism used, I imagine you just take the advantage you got and run into the tower. Exactly, and this is what they need to do, and what Robo Z will be able to do so well in this hero is, it's just the little things, you're just accelerating the game, and while it's not the most important tower, they know that they can't really oh, respond in stride. Oh, they wow. They find him immediately, and they go in for the silence, but he has three leap oh. charges to uh, escape, and oh. he doesn't get hit by the boulder. What a juke from Yarin. You see that Burna is taking quite a bit of return damage, but they still get the tower. And the, and the initial kill, of course. And if anything, Ray was watching. Oh, Burna just barely TP'd bottom. 
But if anything, Ray not even showing up to use his mana, but just still farming. And it's this Orca timing that he wants to hit. He wants to continue to be the strongest hero on the map and apply that pressure once he finally has it. And still working on it, but should be 11-12 minute timing. Very solid. You know, they'll be very happy to end up getting that Ooh. silence. It's got to be careful Stop. here, but uh, yeah, back up in top, actually. They will get him with the arena kill. Okay, I, well, I thought they were going to be able to get this storm, but I guess not. Unfortunately, he doesn't have silence up anything. on uh, Robo Z. He's just not a high enough level. Mm -hmm. But they were able to boy the storm off of the runes. And again, we see with this timber saw, we see this every single game with this timber saw. While Burna. Being that the troll's already vacated the lane is going to take that tower on. Drakeel is going to put pressure as much as he can on the mid tower. And we'll see if Dogchamp are going to be able to, to punish him. But it looks like Burna will get a, a little bit of free space. He's, he's got a Midas recipe queued up, but 2,000 gold, he might just decide to go straight for the Radiance. Yeah, it looks like he's actually swapped off. It's, it's Radiance time. Well, he, he might be having it couriered out. I remember it is quite a big, expensive thing to get. It's 22 oh, now, isn't it? No, it's not. 19 mid. Unknown, they were looking to maybe try to get the silence opening there. It is level 1 on Death Prophet. Oh, they wow. do find the double down there with the silence and leashed up. They find oh, the kill. Perfect. Prada to claim both, actually. But you see Realisa with Yarn jumping in there. The arena is not available for 13 seconds. They will find the kill on Wish and Robo Z maybe trying to uh, run up at them, but can't get it. And you see with the rest of this arcane rune, the last second of it, I believe. Yes, it yeah. was. They will go ahead and just pop the Exo, but immediately skewered to the tree in the arena, and Rayliza actually goes down, finding a double trade of their own with Rayliza. Now, Drakeel, not in the same... Not in a great spot here, but he did have 24 stacks. He is able to jump out of there, but... Whoop. Rayliza, you don't want to overextend here. Timbersaw can burst him down, but this mid-tower likely to be picked up on top of these kills. And this just feels very nice for Dogchamp. Unknown really didn't consider that they were going to punish them, I suppose. And they felt maybe a little bit safe because they did have that sentry right here. And just not expecting heroes to be just straight up on the high ground. Ooh, arrow. Barely. Just off to the left that little bit more. But now the silence is up out onto Rayliza. This game is in their hands. And he's very happy to be having a, a nice game in comparison to game number one where... Didn't really oh. feel like that. And now they get to reveal the silence. But there's no damage around immediately for the follow-up. And now Creep comes in. And there's that damage. They will throw out the root as well from the right clicks. And Creep will get oh, perfect. it. Perfect. Maybe a little bit of a premature ult there from Creep. But, I mean, it, they get the kill and they're happy about it either way. It's damage. It'll it'll heal them up to full. And that's the, the thing about whenever a known do decide to engage these fights is, as we saw mid, they need that picture-perfect silence onto B9. If they can get him ulted and maybe the Storm Spirit or where we saw the troll getting ulted mid, that's the perfect way for them to start a fight. But until then, they are kind of beholden to their ultimates. They need to wait for Exo. They need to wait for a little bit of time now. And this is what I mean when I say they need to win the lanes on Dogchamp is now they've bought themselves a decent amount of time. Creeps allowed to finally well, hit Creeps and work towards that BKB, and it just allows Ray to have a game as well. And so far, 111 last hits, 6 kills. They're just going to try to keep the, the good roll going for the Storm. Well, they will smoke up and try to keep that good time rolling, like you're saying. Going to see the... Uh, I mean, who are they going to end up finding? The first one that's going to be in the immediate zone is Prada, as he does ping the ward that he just and placed. have to be careful. Prada might be... Oh, he's breaking it. Yeah, he broke it. He saw the smoke. They can't they, tell where they broke it from. They know sort of now, but... They're just going to give up, I guess. Yeah, it looks like that's just how they're going to leave it be. They... they uh, That's just it. And, I mean, all things considered, not the worst thing. You are oh. farming up on Burna. Oh, yeah, mid. Going for the roll, but still only being level 1 silence from Robo Z. That does not last long enough for a finish up. You see, even 14 minutes into the game, they, they're just not keeping... They want the rune out of the hands of Ray. As we see, he picks up an arcane rune, and this hero is just so much stronger when he has those runes. And really, if Unknown are able to translate a lot of the item timings that they're getting now, that being the Radiance, probably the Hood coming out on Timbersaw, then they're going to be able to take those runes away from the Storm Spirit. But 
as we are right now with dog champer completely fine with sort of a drawn map at this point no side is really taking any heavy losses well they do smoke up but this might just get broken immediately they find lukey oh he's in a crazy uh, yeah, spot this is a bad spot for him the silence is going to be there and the follow-up stun there's no escape for lukey on this one throw a spear out to maybe push him back but not able to get the uh, the pick there and oh, Yarin? Yarin actually maybe a little bit too close for comfort. He will get stunned in silence, but not hit with the boulder. He'll be able to leap up to the next set of stairs. B9 versus Robo Z bottom as well. Oh, but, oh sorry, I went bottom. I'm like, there's nothing happening bottom here, but yeah, Robo Z is oh. gonna burn him up here. He will be able to grab this bounty rune. And oh you see wow. the storm zipping in. Actually, they are going to be able to find a return, but they will throw out the soul bind. But it, there's no one to bind it to. Robo Z is going to be rolling out of there and back in, though. Wants to play it safe, but they still end up losing Prada here. And I believe Storm Spirit's fine. It's not dead. You know, so be careful. Zakiril's floating around. Oh, jumps in. They've got enough damage. The roll goes out. B9 likely to die. Unable to grab Rayliza, though. And that was so close to being on the edge. RoboZ actually just barely got his Yules delivered. He he survived with maybe 75 HP after the Soul Burn from the Orchid. But at the same time, both sides are, are okay with nothing happening. I think Burna still waiting for that uh, Radiance to get delivered out to him. He's only 200 gold away. And then again, it's going to be a farm fest. And a farm fest that I think Unknown are very happy taking. But the thing is, as the game goes on, we always see the Storm Spirit able to find these opportunities. And... There aren't too many spells he's afraid of in this game. It's really the Earth Spirit Silence in that Grimstroke Ultimate. If he's able to circumnavigate those, then he will have a relatively free time, especially in these team fights. Well, I thought, uh, thought Dog Champ smoked back up again. It's just Yarn on Invis, and they do find B9, though. They silence it, and the arrow goes through, though. It will be able to put Wish. They actually use their exorcism for oh, it, but nice a well-timed Yules. RoboZ is able to get out of that one, but the arena is holding him over, but the rest of Unknown are here. They want to get this return. They will be able oh, to wow. insta-give Realiza, but at the same time, RoboZ will fall, and Yarn will be traded off. The Radiance just coming in for Burna Burna, and Creep maybe not accounting for this one. There's a lot of damage going up, but the first life for Burna Burna will be expended. But, I mean, that's just it, though, is that it's the first life. He could still get this kill on Creep, and in fact will. And this is a huge team fight for Unknown. They get uh, they get, the, get these good kills and good claims for it. And this mid tower goes down, too. And you see Bloody Nine, he just didn't have his ultimate. It was still on cooldown after he ulted Ray Bottom. And they're pinging him out now. And Burna Burna literally got the Radiance as the Courier was delivering it to him. It was just a second before the fight broke off. Even that he got to die with the level or the second level in Reincarnation. He's really not too disturbed. And again, he's just going to start farming it up. And you look at the items on Dog Champ, they're just slightly more expensive. Where you have that Bloodstone, you have that BKB that you would have loved to have. Oh, right. Got a freebie. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Sorry, I just realized my mic was muted for some reason. Anyway, they do find the kill in the bot lane. Realiza does jump in though. I was trying to find a, find out what was going on with my network. You probably hear me at least having a little bit of robot voice every now and again, yeah? Yeah, the yes, that is true. That is true. <laughs> you, you surprised me for a second. I was like, hmm, what's going on here? But at the same time, Dog Champ, they just want to keep on putting pressure on the map. We see the, the 4K gold lead that have Divot a little bit there as Creep was not able to farm the map. But again, time and time again, we've seen this Wraith King get away with murder, it feels like, in a, especially a lot of these games. But I think top... This might finally be the punishment. Yep, the Wraith King is going to be brought down. I think he doesn't have his res for another 10. And, I mean, 20 wand charges is not going to save him. Worst case scenario, too, because they were smoked behind him. They wanted to make a play towards their Wraith King. Oh, they're going to run into each other with the BKB on creep. Yep, he rolls in. The arrow goes through. He has to end up using the Yules as a defensive. And... I mean, he's just dead immediately, and Creep even throwing out his ultimate here. He's likely to find the kill on Prada with it as well. The BKB reveal. I mean, immediately into Roche. That's where they should go. 
Yeah, there's there's no reason not to walk in there. It's a free roche for them. And it's so easy as well. And again, we see how effective or how important this Aegis is when we see it on the Storm Spirit. We see it on this Medusa. The pressure that you're allowed to put onto the map. And again, dying so close to the pit, it's very unfortunate for Unknown. But again, Dog Champ, they can still win. Oh, Widge. Trying to get in there, but unable to get it. Just gets speared immediately. And now, I mean, Dog Champ are continuing to gain speed. They've finally gotten over that hump, and that hump is going to end up being Burna Burna. But if he's not able to, to find everything, we did see in the Undying game that Tomato was sort of able to 1v5 that game. But uh, a Wraith King's a little bit of a different hero. It's not that Morphling. Yeah, his, uh, but on the bright side, he has the Radiance, though. So he can make the comeback farm being a real thing. And, you know, of course, he's got the... Uh, the, he's got the skeletons that'll just go ahead and farm up what's left all over the map, and he's got that much at least going for them. And once this Heaven's Halibird is ready to go, actually, it's going to be another uh, good thing for them to use. Because, like, the troll, though he's not causing too many issues, is going to become a problem once he has all of this farm available to him. And, I mean, you can see it already. He's working for the Yes and Y Moonlight. Moonlight. Zip in. I mean, they're going to find this kill, I believe. There's no real way that uh, Prada is getting out of that one. Oh, they're pinging Robo Z. Yeah, they do see him down here. Luki Luki sets up, throws the spear. They will Perfect. find the latch, and they find Robo Z as well. And we're seeing such a, a different team this time around. They've got their item timings. They were able to get something, and it just feels like a completely different team, a complete 180, where now it's unknown that are really heavily on the back foot. They need to wait for that BKB on Death Prophet. They need to wait for a lot of these items. And at the end of the day, then you still need to get a very good team fight where this Ray is not going to be able to kind of walk over you. But he's got Bloodstone components coming out. He's feeling very, very farmed. A real night and day situation. Yeah, this is, uh, it's just kind of like, I don't want to say it's reminiscent of game one, but it's the same scenario. It's just game one. Didn't really feel like it was Dog Champ's game, and now we're coming back into game two, and now it is Dog Champ's game. And it's it's nice to see that because game one is was hard to kind of make that comeback. And a big part of it, I think, just being not getting Ray on a hero that he really wanted. I think Unknown really targeted those bands well, and you can do this. You can just first face the Storm Spirit. You're so comfortable on it. And again, getting the Arcane Rune, having map control with Storm Spirit, so important. And we'll see if Anon are able to make anything of it. Well, they are rotating around for the time being. Maybe Dog try to find some more picks, but uh, Unknown. Are they smoked up yet? I mean, what are we on our smoke timers? How many do we got? They will deward this high ground. Smoke? Question mark? Smoke? I saw one. All right, there it is. There's on the one on Widge, but... But yeah, he's just bought him, and they're just trying to make these plays where they're dragging. I mean, Dogship are oh, doing a very good job. Yules, oh, Wish, Ridge. Arena. I mean, with the TP in from Prada, though, he's going to hold it back for a little bit. I mean, they do get the tower, though. And that's all they want to do. They want to bring around Unknown, and it's the holes that they want. Dogship wants to jump in. That's where Ray is trying to find these openings, and they decide to, to defend their triangle, then... Similar to the first game, Dogchamp want Unknown to fight them because Dogchamp know that they can win. And they're going to keep on forcing these moves until Unknown really have a big uh, a big mess up. A big opportunity for the Storm as Arcane Rune. Zip in. They are going to go for this one. The Arcane Rune gives them that big jump in time frame. They will be able to find the kill on it. Actually, I don't know. but It's going to be the other way around. Storm Spirit zips out of there while Troll will clean up the back lines. They do manage to get two. Robo Z, though, they want to try to put in some return pressure, but the beautiful jump in three-man silence is going to be there, and Jaquiel is going to be getting wailed down here, but Creep is going to find the kill on Robo Z instead, and Bloody Nine will hit the floor. The resurrection for the Wraith King is going to be expended. Jaquiel burning away from this spirit vessel. There's five more charges left in him, though, and the Wraith King able to get out of that one. They still find the oh, kill wow. on Yaren and Luki. But now they're going to keep turning around here. Drakeel, he needs another tree to jump to. But no, oh, the silence is going to be there. The root? Uh, they don't need it. Ray Lisa is going to end up getting it with the Vortex. And they will find this kill. It's a 3-2. You do get the Wraith King Resurrection. And I don't believe Wraith King is 18 yet either. So it's going to be a long one until Burna Burna has it back. It's still a good fight overall. Actually, no. It says it's a five-man wipe. 
Uh, or I think Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit died. No, he didn't die twice. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe it's counting the the original. Maybe, maybe. kill on Widge Bottom. I'm not sure. I don't think Widge died three times or two times in that fight and then bought back. But still, it feels very good if you're Dog Champ right now. Both of your cores are accelerating so fast now, and even with the jump from Ray, he went in. Not having the BKB yet, goes in, forces out the silence. He doesn't have the Aegis anymore, sadly, but played it perfectly, absolutely Wish. perfectly. Ooh. Want to be a little bit careful there, though. Dog Champs heroes are on the uh, sidelines here. Burna Burna is going to be found. Doesn't have rest for 43. Will disarm Ooh. Prada. I mean, he's he's no way, shape, or form making ah, that one. And I don't think Luki will be able to punish, but. This is the issue for Unknown, is that there's just so much net worth now on the side of Dog Champ, and they're very mobile on all of their heroes. Really, the only hero that's quite immobile once he gets in there is Luki Luki, but he should be building towards his BKB next. And then the issue is your Death Prophet's getting bursted. She doesn't have that BKB still, and this is a big problem that they haven't really been able to solve. There's been no lanes for her to kind of sit in, as Ray Luisa and Dog Champ have just been already at pretty much every turn. It's really Verna that's just been the one to farm. I mean, it's... Sorry, I'm still just trying to fix everything up here, but I'm just going to have to do that real quick. There we go. <laughs> no worries. I'm in my chat. Oh, but mid. <laughs> yeah, they do throw down the arena in mid, and it, it will find this Timber Sodger Keel finally going down. Saw him go down in the last transaction of the fight there, but... Now they finally get them, and that's a good pick for them. It gives them the ability to take these towers uh, with free reign and maybe put in some pressure for this tier three. Weiss is going to be Glyph, and again, he's just a little bit too far away from his BKB on Robo Z. They have to be so scared. If they ever want to jump in, he doesn't have just enough mana on Ray yet, and he doesn't have a rune either, but oh, he's taking a big zip. Yeah, they zip in and just removes Prada from existence with that zip in. Though they do manage to put the disarm out on the troll, he doesn't have an Aegis or anything yet. Does that BKB though? But holding it, just making sure he waits for the exact time that it best fits. And I'm not sure if you're happy with that, to be honest, if you are Dog Champ. You used your 10 second on Ray. You used all of his mana to get that kill on Prod in. You didn't even get Glyph out. You were a little bit too afraid to stick around after the BKB on the Storm was used. And this is kind of a, a timing for Unknown. If they want to, they can maybe take look for a fight in the triangle where they might be a little bit too scared to contest them, or even a smoke up. I mean, they it just looks like Unknown are just scared to really walk out, though. If Burna Burna, once they get a pick on the triangle, they might be able to find Yarn, but, I mean, with the leaps away. It was very scary. He was trying to get that uh, that neutral item there. Well, they do ping out Drakeel, though, and oh, Luki Luki, he's here. Yules is there. We're going to see him skewer to the tree line there. The zip in as well with the follow-up silence, but B9 does die on the sidelines. But it, it's much better trade here. And, I mean, you see Creep, he's, he's over here in the triangle. He might be able to find somebody with a ranged whirling. But no, no cheddar. No dice. Now, yeah, they're going to smoke up. They know that there's no save. If they get a good jump... Oh, they saw creep. Yep, there's the jump in indeed, but the BKB is still up. They buy back immediately on Timbersaw, and creep throws out. Now, he doesn't even need to ult. There it is now. He will find the bash. Now he's turning to Robo Z, but he has no choice as it is now the ultimate works. He's going to be disarmed on the latter half and will be brought down. No BKB available because he's already expended it. His ult is not there either. No Aegis to work off of. And now we're going to see Luki Luki in trouble too. All of his HP disappearing in one ability. And Jaquiel, they're, they're going to keep hunting. They want to find some more here, but Wish not able to Ooh, with the haste. roll around. Oh, if he got the Yules. Release a silence. They will be able to find this timber. The arrow goes through. The burst damage is there, and Jaquiel will go down. He almost didn't go down, though. Oh. Oh, have oh, you lost me completely? More? No, I can, I can still hear you. Okay, well, that's but weird. My Burna. stream just says it's straight up dead, but yeah, Burna. Speaking of dead... Might be going down here. The first life will be expended. They got Resurrection. Run. Yeah, he, he's rolling out of there. They've got what they wanted because back over on the sidelines, they will be losing their Oracle here. But could maybe pull a good team fight out of it. The arrow goes through. But no. Well, this is the zip. Oh, wait. Hang on. Zip. They come in and that's a... 
full HP zip right there onto Robo Z. And it's just, he's having such an incredible game on Ray, 16, 1, and 5, but at the same time, from unknown, knowing that they can fight there, and I'm surprised Dogchamp stuck around, maybe getting a little bit too ahead of themselves with the lead that they gained, but that was your BKB smoke on the Death Prophet, and killing Creep like that, I mean, he's still respawning, but the Storm Spirit, he's starting to ball, he's starting to get out of control, and 25 Bloodstone charges, once he has this Bloodthorn, then they're going to be able to kill Burna that second time, and until he has BKB, now Burna's going to start becoming a target in these fights. Whereas before, he just pop his ultimate, and then he'd try and run away, but it's going to start to get even closer, especially with this Roche being live. Dogchamp might be able to force Unknown to leave their base. I mean, it is the, the Roche that's going to control this point in the game, because we're at the 30-minute mark where Roche is literally the name of the game. This, this Abyssal Blade almost done with Creep as well. Like, he'll probably end up getting it shortly after this Roche. But, I mean, Creep doesn't even need help. He's just laying into this Roshan. The Courier flies through and will get oh. cleaved down by by the uh, by the Wake there. And it's just the Cheese, though. It's not the Aegis, not the Refresher Shard, and not all of them at once. And we see this a lot nowadays, especially in these Ooh. lineups where... Oh, they're going zip for a in, big zip. He was trying to farm, and actually he will end up getting hit by this leash, and uh, he's going to be in trouble here. The Soulbind actually brings in Robo Z oh, as no. well, so they get two kills with this one. The troll is there, but the disarm goes out immediately. They are going to at least try to go for the kill on Prada, but the silence is going to be there. It's a long one. Will purge it off for the time being. The Yules is not going to go out by Luki, though. He's already expended it defensively, and they're going to try to go for this Wraith King again. And the first life is looking pretty dead, and indeed it goes down. Kiel though, BKB immediately, but it doesn't even matter. You see this troll wailing into Burna Burna. His ult's available, the full refresh. Oh, Jaquiel no. will fall as well. It looked real bad at the beginning with Luki falling, but just Dog Champ able to turn that team fight around. And no buybacks. Yeah, there's no buys. Like they want to try to force, but there's nothing to force, and maybe they'll just walk down mid with this. Rough one. Oh wow. Oh no. This, Ray what's Elisa. going on here? This, Ray Elisa, this isn't the Arkosh game. Gaining some ire, which with the what? I, then that's the most appropriate voice line I've seen in a while. And it's going to be at least two racks, but that fight was so bad. They lost Robo Z instantly. He wasn't even able to get the exorcism off, so they do have it to defend this final set, but this just feels like a freebie for Dog Champ at this point. Yeah, they're they just might not like, even leave. Where are these buybacks? Why, why no buyback? The whole reason we're here. We, we, wait a minute. We aren't, we are anti Arkosh. <laughs> well, <they're just laughs> Interesting. I don't know about that one, Chief. I mean, you already did it. There's no going back. They will throw the fort, which will delay the inevitable. Well, I say the inevitable still. I mean, we know that un Unknown can pull it back. Burna Burna isn't exactly, well, Burna Burna's not terribly behind, but the BKB is going to need to be out there. But even then, though, Creep could just press R with the new Abyssal Blade he's got on and and there's nothing you could do yeah and it just feels like now unknown they've sort of run out of time they have the level 18 on the death prophet but they don't have any defensive capabilities at this point and it feels like all of that speed that they were gaining that one fight where they were able to get the reveal it was still a 13k gold lead then and after this aegis it just feels like a wall is forming in front of them And that wall being the giant pile of gold that is the 24k net worth lead. You know what's funny is, is Creep has had this as a normal maelstrom almost the whole entire game. Like, he's yeah. not going to finish into the Glyphnir. He's not going to go for the very usual one, which we see as the Mjolnir. It just feels completely maelstrom. confident. Yeah, it just makes, it makes your hero farm so fast. It gives you that javelin timing where you were able to punish this Timbersaw. And that was the big difference, I think, in this game was... At Greep getting that great start off in the bot lane where they were able to kill that timber saw one or two times and at the same time in the top lane they were able to kill burner one or two times and that's where the the initial spread started to happen and nobody has buyback in this game now though they need to be very careful with how they engage with dog champ but i feel like with this next aegis it's going to expire in about a minute 30 that we might see this final rack topple i mean this it is going back to the the statement I really hate saying because it just, you know that the game is going to continue to extend because of it. It is going to be based around the next Roshan. And it's, it's so annoying to say that because it's just such a boring comment to make. Because it's such a boring thing to rely on.
But it is what ends up winning these later games, having that ability to reset more or less with another life. And I mean, come the third Roshan, either have a refresher or your free Aghanim Scepter, which for Wraith King would be insane. While the oh. same being uh, can be said for not the trolls, I believe it's still the old. No, it is trolls new one. Oh, right, they the know shard they saw is the, the old one. They jump in immediately. Luki Luki is going to be revealed. Lorey Liza will throw out the BKB. He's going to go for Burna Burna on the sidelines here. And Burna Burna, first life will be expended. And they are going to whop the BKB here. And Creep just getting laid into, or laying into Burna Burna. Pardon. And they will be able to get this double kill. There are buybacks this time on these two cores. And they will indeed do that. However, the Oracle is the first one to die in this transaction, though. Oh, you do creep. see Creep is losing a lot of HP. The Aegis timer, though, just in time. Had another 22 seconds left in it, I believe. But they are looking to try and pile up the stun there. The Yules is going to go through. Robo Z trying to apply some pressure, but the Soulbind is going to cause a little bit of light issues while Luki Luki still cleans up house. Finding the kill on oh, Robo no, Z Berna. and the Abyssal Blink in out onto the sidelines. Burner Burner, though, his life is back. They saw the TP. They wanted to try to contest it, but. The first life is now dead again for Burna Burna. They buy oh, back on the DP. Him. I don't think that's going to be enough, though. They have the Yules, but Burna Burna, he's burning away from the Spirit Vessel. And they will find this kill. And then following suit, they will get the Death and Prophet. G -G. And that is a GG. Dog Champ will take the second game of the series, making it a 1-1 even.